chill session with the Logitech G29. I've had it for a full week now. I'll give you a good idea of, you know, it's basically my review of the wheel. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to do a little bit of racing. Uh, offline. Well, of course, it's not all. It's all online for GT Sport, but, um, I'm just going to, you know, kind of tell you how I feel about the wheel. You know, let you know if it's actually worth the money that was spent on it. This isn't the cheapest wheel of all wheels. The cheapest wheel would be the uh, Thrustmaster T80 series, which is a non force feedback. Um, it's only about 100 bucks, so I can't speak on that. Um, but this would probably be like a mid tier, intermediate level wheel. Whoop. Sorry about that. It's like a mid tier level wheel. Get the three pedals, the wheel, which is nice. It's got a full controller on it. If you watched my last video, my first impression video, because it was only the second day I had it, it's got the LED indicator up here. Let you know when to shift. It's got everything L2, L3, R2, R3. Um, your paddle shifters act as L1 and R1. Um, got the PS button. Pedal setup's really nice. Three pedals clutch if you so decide, which I don't use the clutch, but uh, it's nice. Um, you know, I'd say that I have money well spent if you're a person who really likes to get into simulation racing. Um, in the first beginning I was still using third person view, you know, because it seemed like that was the easiest when you use a controller, um, but I've since switched to first person view, it's made me a lot faster. Definitely think that once I get some more practice on the thing, it's going to elevate my gameplay. Um, let's see here some downfalls. The wheel's a little bit small. It's only about 11 inches in diameter. You know, that's a couple inches smaller than a standard uh, car wheel. Um, force feedback, being that this is my first wheel ever having, feels good. Um, I'm sure that it's, you know, not completely realistic, of course. <laughs> if you're in an actual race car, it's going to feel much, much different. Um, but it at least gives you a good idea of what you're feeling when you're on the road, what the tires are doing. <sighs> it's a little plasticky in spots, but um, it still seems like it's well made. I mean, aside from the fact that it's a smaller wheel, um, force feedback may not be exactly what you're looking for. Um, it's, a, it's a really good wheel. The brake pedal has been the hardest to get used to. It uh, only depresses about halfway, but then you can tell that if you keep applying pressure, you, it still kind of goes in. So it's like a pressure sensitive brake pedal, which simulates pretty well what a real a real wheel would be, or a real car would be like, you know. The harder you push, the ABS will kick in and lock up. Uh, trying to think of some other cons to this. Uh, you want to find a good sturdy table to mount it to. Right now, I've just got this cheap table I bought from Walmart. It's got like a plastic top, but it's a metal frame that can be raised up and down. So I got it because I figured I can adjust the height of it. Um, but I think you want, you know, the pedals in a position where you don't have to reach for them, but it's also um, not too close to where your knees are going to be constantly bent, which is kind of where I'm at right now. It should probably be best mounted to like a hard wooden desk where you can have the wheel nice and close to you and the pedals exactly where you want them. Right now I just have them using this, uh, I don't know if it's their design for the carpet, um, but it works great, man. That's definitely a pro. The pedals do not move when it's in a flat position. But there are uh, pre-drilled holes in both the steering wheel and the pedals where if you wanted to elevate them to make it simulate one of the car, um, which I think that might be something I'd try to do in the future. It's pretty good, man. Don't know about the clutch. 
haven't used it. Um, I don't know if you can even simulate it in Gran Turismo Sport. I haven't really looked into it. Um, oh, the leather on the wheel. That's nice. I mean, it's definitely maybe pleather, but you know, it's got that nice leather smell to it. it. Just feels nice in your hands. So I mean, I, I like I said, this is money well spent. Also, there's two. Uh, back to the controller on the steering wheel. There's these two things. There's this little plus minus up down button, which lets you cycle through your, you know, if you want to see the track, your radar. If you need to change your power ratio, you know, your fuel ratio, um, traction control, and then there's this little turn red knob where you can kind of turn stuff. See, it only goes left and right, but uh, let me uh, let me show you the bird's eye view of this thing. So you can see there what I'm talking about. So, oh, so all right, so it's on this side. Okay, so this is the little turny knob thing I was talking about to let you cycle through your adjustments of the car. Um, you can see here, PS button, option, share. Here's a little. Um, up down that lets you cycle through your changes of the car. You can see right here that it is specifically made for PlayStation. Logitech G29 it can also work on PC. There's the full, you know, all your PlayStation buttons. It's got a fully functional D-pad. Got your L2, L3, R2, R3. Paddle shifters are nice. You can see they're metal. It's nice. You can see the wheel. Got this little thing in the middle. I think that's like to resemble more of a racing steer steering wheel. Nice and metal. Um, there are metal parts, like the actual wheel here in the middle, and that's metal. I mean, I, I think it's pretty well made for for the money spent. There's the pedal. Three setup. Nice metal, metal pedal. This thing is badass. I'm touching the clutch right now, so everything's backwards. Brake, gas. There's a little table that I told you guys set up on. See, now this is not, it's a little too flimsy for a good setup, but it, it's all I got to work right now. All my other tables have a lip on it to where it can't be put on, so I think it's working really well. Uh, it's on the PS4 Pro. Unfortunately, non 4K TV. I know, it's like, why the fuck do you have a PlayStation 4 Pro if you don't have 4K TV? Well, because I wanted a PlayStation 4 Pro and I just don't have the money to go out and buy a freaking TV. circuit experience. It's in campaign mode. Just to try to familiarize myself with this wheel as much as possible before I go to sport mode. I don't want to be running into people. You know, other people probably just go out there and smash into people, but so it's just a chill session. Like I said, a little review of the wheel. Let's have some fun. I'm still not good enough to uh, <coughs> have traction control turned off, unfortunately. I just don't have that finesse yet. I'll get there, though. Everything else is turned off, though. Counter steering assist. The only thing I've got on is ABS on weak and my traction control.
you go off the track, you're pretty much done for, so. <laughs> this is the river in circuit experience. We do the sectors. The brake pedal to me has been the hardest to get used to. Son of a bitch. So you're gonna see me <laughs> retrying a lot. It's not going to be like the Thrustmasters that have 1080, but in a way, you would never turn the wheel that much anyway, so... This corner is tough. Fast enough to roll. There's my record, 51, 2, 3, 8, so I'm right there at the gold. I just not got it enough yet. Don't you worry, I'm gonna get this today. You won't see it live. Nurburgring. If you're familiar with uh, racing games, you know you ain't got a lot of room on this track. Throwing it into a higher gear like that can get you out of the spin. Keep it in the higher gear this time. Oh, I almost got it. Son of a bitch! Just not fast enough. I'm just not good enough yet. Oh, it's also good to be in a chair that you can have your back up against. When you're in a comfortable position. Either if you're leaning up, your back's going to hurt. Or if you're reaching too far for the wheel, your arm's going to hurt. So. Oh, Bitch, I 
Oh, I had that one. Car didn't want me to have it. Son of a bitch. You're mine now, son. Stupid. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Aha. That's what happens when you get cocky. Gotta be willing to play it for hours on to hours. It's, you know, some people could get this first shit first try with the fucking controller, but pick up a wheel and see how good you are. I say turning off the uh, track control makes you faster, but when I played with the controller, I just all I felt like it was just fucking making me spin out more. It's the braking. That's the most important thing, in my opinion. Driver here. Always breaking a straight line. You're turning the wheel at all when you're breaking. You're screwed. See what I mean?
Finally! It's not that fast, but I'll take it. Don't smoke, it's bad for you. I'm gonna let you witness me. Only 67 experience points, but hey, it's alright. A little bit later, I'll show you how to, um, let's watch the video, see how this guy does it. I haven't watched all of these, so let's check it out. <clears throat> see how this guy rocks his... So he was breaking considerably there. Kept it in second. Does he break here or just let off? That's how it's done right there. Good to see some lower rating people up there. Django! Not bad, not bad. So close, but yet so far away. Yeah, 
least I was able to complete it first try. <laughs> Usually I'm wrecking by then. Uh, if you get a penalty, you can't win, so... It's gotta be mistake-free! Don't take me a few tries. Not fast enough yet. Man, it feels like I'm going fast, but I'm not. Yep, not gonna win now. Can't go off the track. See what I mean? You can't not go off the track. It's basically got to be mistake free to get gold. Oh, shit! Three freaking tenths of a second. I don't think I was quick enough. This one here, too. Maybe, maybe, maybe! <laughs> yeah, son! Yeah! That's how it's doing! 
It's not the fastest, mm. but I got gold. That's all that matters. Oh, not bad. A little more experience points. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's right. That's right. Let's see if we can get get all gold here in these bad boys. You said this just chill sesh. Nothing crazy. Shifted there. Time to tell if that's the best of choice of action. Woo -hoo. Shit. Oh, somehow I got gold. I'll take it. It was messy and ugly, but still gold. Probably one of my faster ones. Usually I'm not that far under. We'll take it. We'll take it. The full lap, that's gonna be the challenge. That one's gonna be tough. I've never been this good at this point. Close, no dice. No dice though. 15 seconds, it's a quick section. Just not that good at this corner. Let's try second this time. You gotta be able to bank that or you're never gonna get through the fast. Oh. Bye hair. Here's a nice long one. 49.7. Alright, alright.
see how slow I was. Not good, not good at all. Try once or twice more, and then I gotta run some errands. <laughs> Take me a little bit. Yeah, this one's gonna take me a little bit. But anyway, this is just a short chill session. Got a couple errands to run, but I shall be back later. To finish this. Once and for all. Freaking Nurburing. Worst track ever. <laughs> this track is intense. Let's see what kind of car they're going to give me that I already have. They're really good at giving you a car that you already have. You know, I've wondered too if uh, if you wait to get the car until you've like done like 200 miles or something for your daily workout, if it gives you more. Haven't really been able to tell a difference either way. Uh, I've already got this car, but this is a different paint scheme, I guess. And it's also the GR1 version, not the GRX version, so... Got two GR1s and a GRX of the same car. Yeah. Let's do a quick save. Check out what kind of daily races we got today. Ooh, we got Roadster in the BB Raceway, GR4, Brands Hatch, Grand Prix. And a GR1, 11 time tire wear. These are good to set you up for the GT, uh, the Nations Cup Manufacturer Cup. They just recently started doing tire wear and fuel consumption on those. They used to do non tire wear, but I think once they really officially kick it off and they're out of the test season phase, it's going to be all tire wear and fuel consumption to simulate more of a real race. GR1s, man, pff, crash fest for somebody like me. I mean, I am an S rated sportsmanship so I do do my best to not crash into people but GR1 the cars are just so fast people can't handle them myself included Let's see here got some my buddy's doing pretty good ah. oh he didn't do good last night Hey, did better than me because I haven't even raced. Mount Panorama. That's an intense track, too. No warm of snow up there, huh? Most people are A or better driver rating. Nurburgring GP. It's a fun course. The Ormas. Get a D and an E up there, huh? Good to see, good to see. If I qualified, I wouldn't be able to race because I'm not high enough driver rating. Eh. Is what it is. 
Someday I will be. Alright, peeps. Till next time. Like I said, this is just a short sesh. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not that anybody watches anyway. Later.